I'm coming to you with yet another special message in the midst of our series entitled The Walk with God. And it is yet another continuation of the impact that has been made on my life and our church in part through the loss and the love of our friend Eddie. You see, last week God made it very clear in stirring in my heart that so many that knew the what did not know the how. And if you were here, you know that we looked at the call and the privilege and the blessing of putting on the armor of God, specifically the breastplate of righteousness. And what God has driven into my heart this week as I was preparing was, okay, we know the what, we even learned the how, but the next challenge that so many of us face is counting the cost. You might know how and still choose not to embrace what God has given you as a demonstration of his love, as the gift of his grace. And I want to speak to you this morning openly, candidly, and in a way that I have no doubt will challenge many. And it's my prayer that as we continue to move forward, last week perhaps looking at the legacy of Eddie, I pray that today we'll look at the lesson that can be learned. And I can tell you one of the blessings that I had and one of the reasons why I'm at peace in sharing Eddie's story as a part of our moving forward is I believe with all my heart that I watched Eddie go all in. I watched him push all his chips in. And you know, you can stumble over that pile of chips. We talked about that last week. The question is not whether or not we stumble. The question is whether or not we go all in. Do we push all our chips in? Are we willing to count the cost to live the life? Again, not perfectly, but passionately. And I come to you this morning on a time and in a place where our church family is at a fork in the road. And I'm compelled as an under-shepherd and I say this uh, with measured tone, but as a prophet to speak to you. Uh, you will see before we're done this morning that I'm going to speak to you with the words of Haggai. Uh, please don't hear them as Old Testament academic fact, but hear them, each word, each syllable, as God speaking to us. For I know that I know that I know that God would have us hear this word in our context today. Now I tell you this on the front side because I'm troubled. I'm troubled. I'm troubled with the state of the Western church. I'm troubled by the front, the faithless front that the Western lukewarm church is presenting in our culture, in our country, and across the continents. For you see, the world is being misled by a church that has no Christ, by crowd building. And I want to share with you this morning, in the context of stewardship, what you and I do with what God has given us for the purpose the dedication, the absolute resolve to grow his kingdom and nothing else. I've entitled our message this morning, Sticker Shock Stewardship, because I believe that as we walk through and see what God has said in this regard, the counting of the cost, the committing to the call, the surrendering of all, and you tell me, either publicly or later privately, you tell me if you didn't have a what? Sticker shock moment here this morning. And if you do, either surrender if it's new or repent if it's not, but come to Jesus. Put all your chips in. All your chips. We've not been called to be managers We've been called to be slaves to a blessed master 